Hi, this video will demonstrate how to connect your FileZilla client software to your hosting account server, basically your website. Now at this point, I'm hoping you already have downloaded and installed your FileZilla client program. Otherwise, this video may seem a bit confusing. So let's open up FileZilla and grab the FTP login details that was sent to us by our web hosting company. We'll bring this into the picture here. Now, depending upon the service that you're using, the web hosting service you're using, will depend upon exactly how the information looks, the login details that they sent you. For example, this is one that I received from Namecheap Hosting. And in one instance, they've got the FTP. This is the server or hosting name that goes in here. And they've got it in the form of an IP address, which will work just fine. And one that I received from my D9 hosting totally different but it still works the same the host name that like here they have just listed as FTP is in the form of a URL now sometimes this does not have a www in front it has an FTP sometimes it also has an SFTP for the secure transmissions but you still have the username and the password now if you're confused about what your particular login details are from your hosting account just give them a buzz or just send them an email and ask them. But leastways, now you've got a pretty good idea as to what's required. You're going to need at least three things. The host or server name, the username, and the password. Now, 99.99% .99 of the time, the port, you can just leave blank or just put in 21. Now, I'll just kind of go over the FileZilla software interface here. And for the most part, you're going to find this to be pretty much the same no matter what FTP client software you're using. For the most part, on the left hand side here, you've got your computer or the local side, it's like it says here. And on the right hand side, you've got the server or the remote side. Now up here at the top, you've got the main software toolbar and there's a whole lot more to this FTP software than just transferring files from your computer to the host. But in this video, we're just going to be covering the connection process. And next, right here, we've got what's called the Quick Connect Server Bar. And you can either connect through this to your server, or you can go up here from File, go to Site Manager, and set things up here. This would be more of a permanent basis, whereas this would be more of a temporary. Now, either way will work just perfectly as far as getting connected to your web hosting server. Now, this area right in here really doesn't do a whole lot for you, but it's called the FTP message log area. And for the techies, there are some details in here that might help you understand more about what's going on. And down here at the very bottom, and you can always scroll these guys up and down to give more room for the area that you're more interested in seeing or gaining access to but down here we've got the file transfer queue and you've got some additional tabs down here that will tell you about all the files the failed transfer files and the successful transfer files so that's a quick look at what's going on here let's go ahead and get connected now again you can either use the quick connect and if you use the quick connect then the information that you put in here is stored over here if you hit that drop down arrow of course this being a new install there are none but if you were to put in the connection for one of your domains and successfully connect, then you can hit this drop down arrow and it'll be listed in here. You would then just select that, click on quick connect and like the name implies, boom, you're quickly connected. Likewise, if you have multiple entries in here, maybe you've got several different domain names and you use the quick connect for connection to all of those servers, then you'll see an ongoing list here of all those servers you've connected to again just select the one you want to connect to click on quick connect bing bang boom you're there another way and again what i consider more of a permanent way is come on up here to file go to site manager come on down here and click on new site give it a name again try to keep things as organized as possible and as soon as you click on new site you're going to see all these other options become available now a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory but again right now i'm just covering the basics and i just want to enter in the host name and i'm going to leave the port alone because for the most part it'll work just fine if it's blank but again 21 is what goes in there and i'm going to put in the host name here copy and paste and for the protocol in this case we're going to just leave it at ftp and for the encryption we're just going to leave that alone and for the login type, we're going to go to normal. And for the user and the password, those are the other two items of the three that we need to successfully log in that we receive from our hosting account. And let's go ahead and put in here and the password. 
thusly and click on connect and of course you've got a spot here for any comments if say for example if this particular FTP account was set up for someone doing some work like an outsourcer or something then you might want to put in a comment here delete at this date or something like that and you can see up here that whatever this stuff means <laughs> that it happened and that we are successfully connected and that's it that is how you can connect your FTP client software in this case FileZilla to your server and a little bit of a breakdown of the different parts of the FileZilla user interface thank you very much for watching and you have a great day